Today we're making a Thai chicken cauliflower curry that will make you want to lick your bowl. Now I recommend you get started making your side dish. Rice is a great side dish for any curry and I have a full tutorial on how to make all types of rice in the instant pot. But here's a quick reminder, you need one to one ratio of rice and water and then you set it to high pressure and let pressure release naturally. For white rice that is three minutes and I am making white rice today. And while my rice is cooking and I don't have to watch it because the instant pot is so great for that, we have enough time to prepare our Thai chicken cauliflower curry. For that we need to peel and finely chop a white onion. Finely chop two cloves of garlic or one giant one like mine. Then get a whole head of cauliflower and remove the green leaves and the stem and then cut the big florets into bite-sized pieces. Then add all those pieces to a colander so you can rinse them under cold running water. It's much easier to wash cauliflower once it's cut up than as a whole. Now the next ingredient is optional but I love the sweetness it offers the curry. Get two corns on the cob and remove the kernels. Alternatively you could use canned or frozen corn as well and add them later in the cooking process. The last thing we need to chop into bite-sized pieces is a pound of chicken. I prefer skinless, boneless chicken thighs, but breast work too, of course. Now that all our ingredients are prepped, it's time to pull out a large heavy bottom pan and preheat it over medium heat. Once hot, you need to add some sort of fat. I like the combination of avocado oil and butter because it gives chicken a really nice color. Add the chicken pieces to the hot fat and season with sea salt and pepper. And without moving around, let them sear for a minute or two on one side and then flip over or toss and let them brown on the other side for another minute or two. Then remove the chicken from the pan and set it aside. Add the chopped onion and garlic to the pan juices and stir until translucent. At this point, add three tablespoons of red Thai curry paste and stir fry that for maybe a minute or until it becomes nice and fragrant. Then add a can of full fat coconut milk to the pan and stir constantly until the curry paste and coconut milk are well combined. At that point, add the chopped cauliflower, browned chicken and corn kernels and cover the pan with a tight fitting lid. Reduce the heat to medium low and let it simmer for maybe five minutes. Then remove the lid and let it simmer for another 10 to 15 minutes or until the cauliflower reaches your desired tenderness. Make sure you stir it every once in a while and submerge the cauliflower into the sauce so it cooks evenly. Now it's already time to serve this delicious chicken cauliflower curry over the steamy hot rice that should be done by now. Finish it off, you can sprinkle some finely chopped red chili over it, a few leaves of cilantro, a drizzle of lime juice, and if you don't forget, like I did, some sesame seeds, either white or black. I hope you enjoyed the video of this belly warming and bowl licking delicious curry. I hope you're gonna give it a try. If you do, please don't forget to snap a picture and show me. I love seeing when you make any of my recipes and I'll see you with my next video. Oh, and before I forget, I made a behind the scenes video of this recipe video in case you're interested to see how I film any and all of my videos. So watch out for that one.